Hello. Hi. Just seen our conversations being recorded. Yeah. So what's going on tonight, Dorothy? I have no idea. Okay, have you heard anything going on? Oh yeah. What did you hear? I was the one that called Jim. We were outside and and I was gathering up some stuff out here and heard seven, ten gunshots. Okay. And so and it's right there. My dogs are flipping out and so I'm trying to see can't tip over the hill. So I then went in the house and I called Jim and I jokingly said, You and Terry having a shootout <laughs> or are you shooting a dog is actually what I thought because mm -hmm. it's been a real dog problem. And that's actually what I was asking him. And then while we're on the phone, they're going off again. Okay. Is I, more like a rifle or something that's machine gun? Yeah, this. Like a machine gun? Yeah, like a like, okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a clip, something with a clip. Okay. So, I, I mean, you know more about what's going on than I do. And then I, we went in the house, and then when I was on the phone, I had my kitchen window open, and it started off again. And, of course, Christian was sitting at the table. But how long ago was this? 15, 20 minutes, maybe. Could it have been from anywhere else besides up there? You know, I thought about up there. It didn't sound right. It didn't sound right. Because I've actually heard shots from up there. Mm -hmm. It didn't sound right. It, it was right there. Okay. What do you think? I mean... Yeah. Okay. So it couldn't have been any other houses up top, you don't think? And And here's why. I've actually had that experience before from that house. Years ago, there was a guy that lived up there, and he got his his voice 22, 22 rifles for mm -hmm. Christmas, and Susan and I both went, we're going to work, Susan Drury that used to live there, and uh, we both went outside, and we're getting into our cars respectively, and it's Susan's like yelling down at me, incoming, you know, and she's like, just been shot at, and anyway, and so she was up the hill, and Sorry. so, you know, I, I mean, I know what that sounds like, mm -hmm. I know the direction, and okay. I know that Sometimes sounds can get transferred around up here, but... And they sometimes carry, it's like a fishbowl. But there was, there's no doubt. Okay. Because those kids up there, I mean, I know how sound comes from that place. Because those kids up there are always yelling down over the hill or doing whatever. The sound was there. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go up and talk to him, okay? Have you, you talked to him yet? No, he wanted me to come talk to you first. Who did? Uh, Jim. Oh, yeah, yeah. He wanted me to come talk to you first, so... Yep. And I said to him, and I, and I said, Jim, I said, it's coming from Terry's. I said, could he been fighting in a rifle or gun in his outbuilding or something like that? And he says, and he's flipping, and he said, they ricocheted, it ricocheted, and like Yeah, he said it almost hit him, and he said he's 100% sure it came from up there. So. It's without a doubt. Okay. Really. The, the only issue is, right now, is Terry's not there. Terry's at work at ODOT, and he's out at the other end of the county right now. It wasn't him, then who? Is that's it? what I'm, that's, and Leanne's got work. So, I'm going to go up and talk to the kids. Whoa. So, I'll go talk to them. As far as I know, and you know I know them very well. As far as I know, I I'll, don't even know, I don't even know who you are. I'm Deputy Mobley. Are you their brother-in-law? Yeah. Holy crap. That, Terry's got a gun you safe. You gave me a ticket. I give lots of tickets. Holy crap. No, nothing personal. I've given lots of tickets. Um, I'm going to go up and check and see. As far as I know, Terry keeps all the guns in the gun safe. So, that's why I was asking if it could have been from anywhere else. Jim says he's 100% sure that it came from there. But... Okay, here's where we're, we were... We, I had just moved the, um... The basketball hoop over there. Mm -hmm. We drugged... I just had taken it off of the deal, and... And so, I mean, we're right there. Mm hmm Well, I'm going to go look into it, okay, and see what we can get figured out. And Leanne's not home? Leanne's not home either. Whoa. So I thought I was asking, is there any way it could be come from up above or anywhere else? Uh, you know, I would like to think the kids weren't messing with the guns. But well, that's what I'm going to go check, because I know, I know for a fact Terry has a gun safe. I know those kids don't have access to stuff, so that's why I'm going to go check and make sure that there isn't something that was out. 
I guess the other thing would be up there, but I, I don't. Because there's some newer people living that one up there, isn't there? It sold seven months, eight year, months ago, right? You know what? I honestly, I live, I live in a, a television here, so. But I know there's a lot more activity, and I think, yeah, I, yeah, maybe. So that's, I'm just trying to pin it down. You know, I'm, I want to well, figure it out just like everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Holy smoke. So let me see what I can get figured out, okay? Yeah. So if any if anything else comes up, let us know, though. Okay? And like I said, I'm going to go up and talk to them right now. And, and here's what makes me nervous about this, because, too, because years and years ago, some guy lived up there before Terry and Leanne moved in. He went wacko, had his kid up there. Do you know who I'm talking mm -mm. about? The incident I'm talking about? I've only been here about five years now. Well, anyway, he... The husband and wife split up, and then the, the guy got his, they were fighting over the kid, and the kid was there on weekends and stuff, you know, but the guy was apparently drug. In fact, is I think they finally got him out of the county, and then he committed suicide once he got campus or whatever, but I mean, anyway, it was just a bad deal, and we were, yeah, and we were living here, and the next day, and then there was stuff that was going on, and he kept the little kid up all night terrifying him, and shoot. He just shot the heck out of that whole house. Mm -hmm. And that kid was just, he was a basket case. And the next morning we were up early and mom comes screaming up the hill. And then here's a cop and it's like, what's going on? So, yeah, that's, that's kind of freaky to mm -hmm. know that that kind of stuff has happened here. You know, and I, and I think we heard a couple gunshots that night, but didn't really think that much. Did it, could it have been fireworks or anything else you think? Or are you, are you yeah, pretty sure it was gunshots? gunshots. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me go look into it. Like I said, if you need anything else, give us a call. Let me know. Okay? Yeah. And I'll go see what I can get figured out. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. They just sounded too close. Honestly, sounded too darn close for it to be coming down from that direction. Because like I said, you know, we've had income before. You think it could, could it have been Jim shooting? No. Sounded more this direction. Oh yeah, it was right over. I felt like it was right over a hit. Okay. Yeah, nah. And could it have been Shane? Nope. Okay. I've heard them too. Okay. I've heard them too. No, it was it was. You know, pretty identifiable at the moment at the time when mm -hmm. it was going on. When we came back out, and that's when I we came out and checked on the dogs too because it was just consistently rolling in from there. Mm-hmm. Well, but the kids go scare the crap out of them. All right. Thank you, Dorothy. Have a good evening.